Hey everybody, our first project is this 88 Toyota Supra. Uh, and as you can see, we're working on prepping the front bumper. So basically what that's going to include is sanding this down, smoothing all that out. We're going to be cutting these sections out just to make it a little bit cleaner and getting rid of some of these um, mistakes and uh, bruises on it. From there we should be able to get it prepped for paint. Cool. And we'll try to talk to you guys throughout the way and just kind of explain what's going on. Let's get it done. So we just made the cuts for the fins to get those out of there, get it looking a little bit better. Uh, Matt is currently working on detailing those cuts. Why don't you tell everybody what you're doing there? So basically from here, I'm just trying to clean up everything, get a little bit closer to my lines where I want it. So that way it's going to look better, look a little bit more finished. And then uh, we start sanding it. Sweet, and uh, we'll probably bring you guys back in later. Three hours later. Hooey. All right, so as you can see here, we have our initial shape cut out. We're gonna smooth that out with a little bit of sanding. Uh, I, as you can see, it's a little bit dark. So we might cut in for the night and go to our real jobs in the morning. Um, Anything else to say about what's going on in the project so far, Matt? Uh, you know, I think you can start to see it take shape. You know, it just takes uh, time to bring it down to size and uh, just keep bringing it closer and closer to where you want it. And always use a point of reference, a uh, straight edge or a piece of material that you know is how you like it. Um, in this case, you can use the bottom of it to kind of shape where you see the, that. This is already pretty short. And it's got the basic lines that I'm looking for. So to have that kind of followed throughout here, will essentially be what we're looking for. Um, so tomorrow's another day, and uh, I'll get to sand it. There you have it. Time. Time fixes it. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the AM. All right, what's up, everybody? This is going to be day two. Uh, so that means we are actually working on sanding today. Should tell everybody how you're getting down on sanding. Uh, I'm going to use an electric sander, which we have over here. So this guy's going to save me a lot of time, a lot of effort, and basically just make my life a lot easier. Uh, you can do it by hand, but uh, it's not recommended. You're not going to enjoy it. So this will make life a little bit more fun, and uh, hopefully get this piece smoothed out. Hell yeah, fun, easy, and smooth.
done it looks like that came out pretty good it's pretty smooth in there cleaned up some of those but um, essentially what we're dealing with now is some of the repairs um, here we have a pretty bad spot uh, this is going to be under the driver's side uh, because the bumper is actually upside down right now um, essentially the biggest challenge that we're dealing with on this piece is that this is very flexible uh, this moves around quite a bit um, Anything that we use to try to repair it is going to be pretty stiff. Um, so it's a matter of either trying to get that to kind of work with it or find a different material that maybe is a little bit more malleable like it is. And basically what we're going to do to start the repairs on this is we want to get it held into place. Essentially how it's supposed to look, uh, the closer the better. And then that way, any type of repairs that we have to do as far as filling in is going to be minimal, which is always preferred. So we're going to start out using a gel type of glue and then basically just clamp this down and by holding it in place we'll have a little bit stronger hold and then we can go ahead and start building it up reinforcing it and hopefully ending up with something that looks uh, close to original so we're just gonna start shaking this well we're checking our fit here everything looks good let's just go ahead and get this on let's start setting in place So I use the gel type because it sticks to surfaces better. In a case like this, I really don't want it dripping if I can keep it from happening. So if I was just going to use the glue, I'd really want to find a way to clamp this down a lot tighter if that was going to be my only method of reinforcement. However, in this case, we're going to use a few other things. Uh, this is just kind of hold it in shape so that way and everything else that we put on is just going to work better. So I think we've reached our stopping point right now. Uh, that fiberglass, if you can see it, uh, looks like we're gonna let that kind of set a little bit. Once that's set, we may put some more sheets on there. Um, what are you thinking? This is just gonna see how it goes. Hope for the best. Um, and uh, hopefully not have to do the whole thing over again. That's always what we hope for, not to have to do the whole thing over again. All right. Well, we appreciate it, guys. Uh, until the next time.